हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे आई विल बी कवरिंग वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एट स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप मैथमेटिक्स सेक्शन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन वैल्यू एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आई हैव रिटन द फर्स्ट सम हियर दे हैव गिवन दिस टू टर्म्स एंड दे हैव गिवन द एक्सपांशन फाइंड द रिस्पेक्टिव वैल्यूज ऑफ क्यू एंड पी Please give respect to this word respective. What do you mean by respective? Q की value ही पहली लिखनी है और P की बाद में. If you write उल्टा, two marks gone. Okay, so please be careful here. Okay, let's begin. We need to multiply this and this. The easiest way of multiplication is repeat any one bracket twice because there are two terms. and give one one term to each bracket and then start multiplying here the rules of indices are very very useful a square into a cube is a 2 plus 3 plus a square into a uh, raised to minus 2 that is 2 minus 2 Here again, same way. Here a is to one. It is so one plus this three. So plus minus minus will come here. Please be careful with the signs. Three a one minus two. This is one. This is minus two. Okay. So we are adding the indices. Okay. So this is a is to five plus a is to zero. Minus three a raised to four minus three a raised to minus one. This is same as. Let's first arrange this in order as per the degree. Four, then three upon a. This is a raised to minus one means one upon a. Then this is a raised to zero is. One. The value of a raised to zero is one. This is same as they have given a raised to five plus p a raised to four minus three upon a plus q. Isn't it looking sim similar? Yes. We can easily find out the value of p now. P is here. So p is minus three and q is one. So in option minus three comma one will be there. If you choose that, gone. Two marks gone. Why? Because respectively, Q and P. Q should be written first. So answer is one and then minus three. This is correct answer. Please be careful, children. Interesting. Hey, give me. Chal. Aage badte hai. Next sum I have written on the board. One upon a minus b, one upon b minus a. They are totally different, right? Here a plus a, इधर minus है. They are totally different. So we need to find out the LCM. Very very easy. This doesn't have a b minus a. This doesn't have a minus b. So let's give it a minus b. Into b minus a, so here also b minus a. So basically, I am giving this to this particular term and this to this particular term. Okay, whatever they don't have, plus one upon b minus a is already there. I am giving a minus b. So on top also a minus b. Now they have same denominators. So our job is very easy. One into anything is same. So b minus a here. Upon a minus b, b minus a. Here same way a minus b on top and down it is same. Order doesn't matter, right? Okay, since the denominators are same, we can club the or add the numerators. Okay, and down common denominator. Now observe the numerator. A minus A plus A plus B minus B. So we have zero here. On in denominator we have this. Whatever 
be the denominator. Since the numerator is 0, the value is 0. So, our answer is 0. Very, very interesting. Chalo, aage badte hai. Students, read this sum properly. See, in these kinds of sum, I have seen many times students multiplying this and then multiplying this and then doing the subtraction and then finding out the square root. That is not the way it should be done. Students remember in algebraic expression, identities and indices are very very important because you have to use them from time to time. Okay. So let's do it here. Observe the numbers. 103 is 3 more than 100. 97 is 3 less than 100. So I can write this in the form of 100 plus 3 into 100 minus 3. And then minus again here 105 is 100 plus 5, 95 is 100 minus 5. So I am writing it 100 plus 5 into, here it is into 100 minus 5. So I have just written them in the form of 100 plus something. That is it or minus something. Okay, the values are same. See 103, 97, 105, 95. Okay. But I have just written them in the form of 100. Okay. Now observe this. This is identity. A, my, A plus B and A minus B. That is equal to A square minus B square. This is identity. We have to use this for both these things. So A is 100 here and B is 3 here. So how can I write this? 100 square minus 3 square. I don't have to find out this. Just leave it like that. Okay. So I can write like this. Minus same thing. Here A is 100. B is 5. So 100 square minus 5 square. Now I am removing that uh, minus sign and that bracket. So it is 100 square minus 3 square. Because of this minus, both these uh, terms will change their signs. So 100 square was plus. So it is minus now. And this will become plus. Observe this. This has gone with each other. Now what we have is minus 3 square plus 5 square. Isn't it easy now? 3 square is 9. And minus so minus 9 and plus 25 so answer is 16 this is same x square they are saying don't choose option six where 16 is written please be careful what they have asked is very important x square this is the value of this entire thing is x square so 16 is x square so x is 4 Sometimes they may give plus 4 and minus 4 if they expect you to choose two options. Okay, please be careful with the instruction because 16 is a square of plus 4 as well as minus 4. But here only one option that too they have given root 16. They might give this, they might give plus 4, they might give minus 4. Okay. So you need to be very very careful with the options given. Chal, aage badte hai. Students see the next sum. Find the value of a minus 3b minus 5c when a is equal to 13b minus 15, b is equal to 3c plus 4 and c is equal to minus 1. See students, here there are three variables a, b and c. Out of that one variable's value will be given to you. Now here in this case c is equal to minus 1 is given to you. Now you need to find out which variable is dependent on c, c. Here b is given in terms of c. So we can find out b with the help of c. So let's do it. b is equal to 3c plus 4. So this is 3 into minus 1 plus 4. Bond mass here. So minus 3 plus 4. Here please be careful with the signs. So it is plus 1 here. Okay. Now with the help of B. Now B is there. We can find out A because A is given in terms of B. So A is equal to 13 B minus 15. So 13 into 1 minus 15. 
so 13 minus 15 so answer is minus 2 so a is minus 2 once you get the values of a b c finding out the value of this is not a big thing at all so let's do it a minus 3 b minus 5 c a is uh, minus 2 minus 3 into 1 b is 1 minus 5 into minus 1 here again I am telling you only thing is you have to be very very careful with the signs must apply bond mass this first then this so minus 3 into 1 this minus 2 will remain like that minus 3 into 1 is minus 3 and then minus 5 into minus 1 will be plus 5 now here minus 2 minus 3 will be minus 5 this plus 5 as it is obviously minus 5 plus 5 will go with each other answer is 0 isn't it interesting very very interesting let's go ahead students next sum will appear on your screen how many hours will it take to cover a distance of x plus 120 km with the speed of 40 km per hour see here simple formula you need to know time they have asked so time is equal to distance upon speed simple so x plus 120 upon 40 so here x upon 40 I am just splitting this and giving this common denominator to both the terms 120 upon 40 so this is x upon 40 plus 4 ones are 4, 4 threes are 12, 3. So these many hours is the answer. X upon 40 plus 3 hours will be taken to cover a distance of X plus 120 km with the speed of 40 km per hour. Simple formula and our work is done. Understood? Okay. Next sum will appear on your screen. The product of P and 9 is equal to the multiplicative inverse of P. Find the value of P. Students see here you are supposed to know additive inverse, multiplicative inverse and so on. See how all the topics are interrelated. See we are using knowledge of indices. We are using knowledge of identities. We are using the speed and time concept. Now here we are using... Uh, multiplicative inverse so all these topics of maths are interrelated right okay read the sum properly the product of p and 9 product of p and 9 this is 9 is equal to multiplicative inverse of p that is 1 upon p isn't it so let's find out the value of p very simple p need, we need to bring it to one side and 9 or numerical values to other side so this p will remain here this p which was down in the denominator will go in the numerator here and multiply with this p and this 9 which was there on top as a numerator will go down and will become 1 upon 9 the student who knows this or does this carefully two marks have gone in the pocket okay so this is p square is equal to 1 upon 9 Therefore, P is equal to plus or minus 1 upon 3 depending on the options given. If they have given minus 1 upon 3, choose that. Only minus 1 upon 3. If only one uh, plus 1 upon 3, then take that. If they expect you to choose two options, then they will give 1 upon 3 plus and minus 1 upon 3. You need to choose both. So, you have to keep an eye on the final question and options given. Okay? Okay students, with this we are through with this important chapter, Algebraic Expressions. Of course, if, if you have any queries, you can mention them in the comment section. I will definitely try to answer them. Okay, this is a very very simple topic. Okay, students, if you enjoy my videos, then please share them with more and more students. And in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then. Study well and very important thing is enjoy studying. Bye.